Welcome to Biology Made Easy. Today we are discussing transporting plants and we want to look at how all substances, water, food, ions, gases are transported. There are two major ways we can look at all these. As we said, all plant tissues can be divided into two based on how substances are transported in them. One of the two is transporting tissues that are not xylem or phloem. And these are the tissues, epidermis, cortex, leaf, mesophyll, medullary rays, cambium. And the other batch is transporting xylem and phloem. Transports in tissues that are not xylem. This is a stem, root, leaf. All the yellow parts are parts that are not xylem or phloem. The red is xylem and the green is phloem. Substances are transported in one way and then xylem and phloem transport is done in another way in this. If we look at this one, the leaf, epidermis, palisade mesophyll, spongy mesophyll, all these area, the way things are transported is different from what happens in the xylem and the phloem. Then we can also look at the term. You look at the cortex, the medullary rays, the cambium, the pith. Substances are transported in them in one way, very different from how substances are transported in the phloem and the xylem. Well, we have this one, the section also here. You have the epidermis, the cortex, pericycle, you have medullary rays, one medullary ray, the path. Substances are transported in these tissues, the same, but very different from how substances are transported in the xylem and the phloem. So these are the two different groups of tissues in which transport occurs. Well, if we look at the processes that substances are transported in these two major breaks. You have substances are transported in the cortex, epidermis, mesophyll. Substances are transported in these ways through the apoplast, simplast, and vacuolar pathways, which we will discuss. But in the xylem and the phloem, substances are transported mass flow, bulk transport, we will discuss this in detail in our next lesson. But briefly, the apoplast pathway is interconnection of all cell walls in the plant. All the cell walls in the epidermis, cortex, pith, medullary rays, all the cell walls are interconnected. And this cell wall interconnection has a lot of free spaces in the cell wall in which water with dissolved substances and food substances move through the cell walls. And that is the apoplast pathway. And then substances also move simplast pathway, meaning the substances move from cytoplasm, one cytoplasm through the plasmodes matter to the cytoplasm of the next cell. And that is simplast pathway. And then the vacuolar pathway, substances move from the vacuole of one cell through the cytoplasm, through the plasmodes matter, into the cytoplasm of the other cell, into the vacuole. Well, this is how substances are transported through, as we said, the cortex, the epidermis, the areas that are not xylem. But when you come to the xylem and the phloem, substances are transported in mass. It means bulk transport substances are pulled together, water and mineral salts, they move together as a bulk in the xylem. Food substances, sucrose, with other food substances move in mass, bulk through the phloem. We'll discuss it in detail in our next lesson. Besides this, areas that are not xylem and phloem, the processes that transport these substances is diffusion, 
osmosis active transports. Whereas in the other block, in the xylem and the phloem, substances are transported through them based on pressure differences. The pressure at the top of the xylem vessels in the leaf is very different from the pressure down. And because of these pressure differences, substances flow in the xylem or the phloem. So we see two different blocks two different ways of transporting the substances. Very neat. We have notes for you on the apoplast pathway, simplest pathway, vacuolar pathway. The apoplast pathway is the most commonly used. And then we have notes for you on mass flow and hydrostatic pressure. Well, in our next lesson, we are going to discuss all these in great detail. So till we meet in our next lesson, thank you very much. Goodbye.